Our next speaker is Mr. Vakash Agarwal, Technical Director at Kimberly System. And his topic is Construction and Heritage Solutions with Ferrovi Scanner X Series. Thank you, Mr. Same thing can be viewed by other people working on the same site. 
apart from that, we can also take 2D measurements as this. So if we see, if I click on two points in the data, I can get the 2D measurement between those measurements. So it's a very useful tool for collaborating on the scanned data. The number of people sitting across the world can access this data seamlessly on internet. And this data can also be accessed over your smartphone or tablet. And you can do 2D measurements and annotations on this data. Going back to the presentation. Uh, then comes the project construction monitoring. For we, this we use the PyroScene software again for the registration purpose. And the Texas JRC 3D reconstructor software for monitoring the changes in the construction. So uh, projects can, again can be scanned periodically and 3D CAD folders can be imported into PyroScene software or Jexel software. In PyroScene you can do a visual inspection with the 3D CAD model and with Jexel JRC 3D reconstructor software you can create 3D inspection reports comparing the CAD model with the point cloud data and if any deviations are found with the CAD data or the expert construction the contractor can be asked to take remedial measures immediately so the remote cost reduces and if the remedial measures are not possible at set, the same can be incorporated in design which can be used by the other contractors on the site. This is a small example about the uh, project construction monitoring. So that we have the uh, company point cloud of the project and in the down image we have the 3D CAT model with the point cloud. So the uh, benefit of this is that you can compare the CAT model with the point cloud and find out the vari variation in the CAT uh, in the design uh, in the construction compared to the design and if required, remedial measures can be immediately taken at this site. So it uh, avoids a lot of rework cost. Uh, then having quality control. So for that purpose we have seen apps like the inspector app and the geometric control software which can be used for the quality control and construction sites. The quality control includes the flow flatness checking, level checking of the flows, the roof flatness, building verticality checks, lift shaft alignment, checking the stairs for international building code compliance, checking the ramp slopes, cross slopes for American Disability Association compliance, or generating reports for submitting to consultants. And the same data can also be exported at DXF format to overlay CAD drawings. We have some examples regarding the verticality check for the buildings, uh, this is the verticality check for the buildings where you can have a vertical check of a building with a vertical plane. And we can do a flow flatness check. Same can be, the deviation can be uh, shown with the color coding. And you can also inspect stairs as per the international building code compliance. You can inspect the thickness of each step in this stairs and get the exact inspection reports for quality control purpose. Uh, then comes the site survey. For this, again we have a scene app called Builder which can be used or the Texas GR 3D reconstructive software. Uh, in site survey, we can monitor the building element, uh, changes in the building elements across time. So we can monitor the, the concrete grinding or filling or structural steam beam reflection after tech loading. We can create topographic contour lines or cut field heat maps. Uh, we can also get uh, excavation volumes for the uh, sites. These are some of the examples of the site survey. So we have for example for the excavated volume calculation for the excavation and construction site. Uh, you have a 4D inspection of beams after deck loading and you have the cut field map for floor and ground which can be used for leveling the ground. And we can also generate fly through videos using the Pyro scene software. For that, we have a scene uh, video app in the scene software itself, which can be used to create the fly through videos. Uh, it's very easy, you can define the camera trajectory in the scene software, uh, finalize the quality of the video, and in minutes, it will create a fly through video for the entire project. I have a small example for the fly through of a construction, constructed building, which can be used for the presentation to the customers. Data being in 3D, you can define your trajectory of use and software will automatically enter images and create a high definition video on the scan data. This is just the scan data without the modeled parts. So you are just using the point cloud data for creating videos. And the same thing 
again, we created the BioSync software, so we are not using any third party processing software for creating spike videos. Uh, 
deviation in different areas. I have uh, cross sectional views or the 3D inspection reports for the heritage site, which can be used for checking the periodic uh, health of the heritage structure. Again, we have the fly through video, which can be used for the tourism purpose. Uh, same way, you need to specify the touching tree uh, and you can create very high definition videos using the Pyro video app. Another example for this. This is a Tipu Palace uh, scanned at the Bangalore. And uh, again, this is a point cloud data. We have not created any 3D model, just point cloud data we use for creating fly through videos.
have an example where we have an actual site photograph and the 3D model of a light tower. And you can also have 3D color printed models in the next, next edition 3D printers available in the market. So you can scan the actual site, create mesh models and <coughs> give it to the 3D printers for generating 3D printed models for the monument. Thank you. And now Mr. Nagaraj will be giving presentation over on the application in the survey and the mining field. Thank you. Yeah,